Good morning guys, welcome back to another one. We all know with the prices of everything going up, and I mean everything's going up, uh, sometimes you gotta do things yourself. Now, normally when I get an oil change on my vehicle, my truck or Jen's car, we go to, sorry about the bumps, we go to Cottingham's in town. Cottingham's is fair, they're reasonable, and they do a great job all the time. However, today I thought I'd show you all how to change the oil in your Chevy Silverado. And in a future video, I'm going to show you how to change the oil on Dodge Durango. But today, we're going to change the oil on my truck. First things first, we've got to head to Canadian Tire and get some oil. We made it back home. Almost time to get started. You need a 5 8 socket to get the drain plug out. We're going to use a Fram oil filter. Part number is going to be XG10575. You need the tool to get the oil filter off. Obviously, a funnel so you don't want to spill it all over the motor. Most importantly, drain pan so I don't just let it run down the end of the driveway out onto the street. The problem I got right now is I just got home, which means that oil is going to be extremely hot. So we're going to let that cool down for a bit and we'll change it out. All right, guys, so here we've got the drain plug and the oil filter. Both real easy to get at. It's probably still going to be a little hot, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> no such thing as trying. Once you start, you can't stop. I'm going to try to do this without making a huge mess. Holy shit, who the hell put that in there? Alright, so we torque that one to the next county. Let's try and do this without wearing it. You do not want to drop the plug in the oil. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so I'm taking it slow because I want to catch the plug. I don't want it to end up in the oil. There we go. That wasn't too bad. We're going to let all that drain out. I'll put the plug back in. And we're going to take the oil filter off. Some take the oil filter off first. And that six of one half does the other as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't matter which one comes first. One thing we will do though is we will prime the oil filter before putting it back on. All right, we're pretty much empty. We're gonna put the drain plug back in. We are gonna make it tight, but it's not gonna be next county tight. All right. All right, next we gotta change the oil filter. Here's a bit of a pro tip. Get ready to change my oil. Here are my tools and my catch pan here, just so it's easier to carry. Don't forget to take your tools out before you put the oil in. I did this so you know what not to do. That's <laughs> always something. Always something. I want to get a little spot to my driveway, Jesus. So as soon as I get that cleaned off, we'll go take the oil filter off. Uh, you big dummy. All right, now that we're back in business. No more tools in the oil pan. Okay. Take this off nicely. That's hot. 
Let that drain for a bit. I want to drop this in the pan, guys. It'll make a huge splash and a huge mess. So we're trying to avoid that at all costs. You also want to make sure that the rubber seal off of that filter is not sitting up, still stuck up in there. It'll cause you a bit of a problem when you go put the other one on. I'm going to go prime the other filter and get it ready. And we're just about done. We've got the oil drained. This oil filter, Fram oil filter, was 15 bucks. Again, the part number is XG10575. And what I do is I usually tear the top off of here pin it to the wall of my shed that way I'll know which one I'm getting so I'm gonna prime the oil filter get it put on we'll fill it up with oil and then we'll go from there all right we got the oil filter primed oil on the seal and we made sure the old seal came with the filter that came off of here okay you can get it pretty tight with this uh, Nice grip on the Fram filter. It's one of the reasons I like them. Oh. Yeah. That just went in there, didn't it? Pro tip number two. When you finish draining the oil, you put the plug back in, you put the filter back on. Before you go to tighten the filter, remove the drain pan. this happens again do not do that oh, still a big dummy all right I hope you all enjoyed pro tip number two just gonna snug this up a little bit more I think we're good though does it take six quarts of oil so we're gonna start off with five and we'll add one quart. Almost had tip number three there. All right, there's five quarts. We're gonna put one more quart in it and we're gonna check the oil. We now have six liters of oil in it. All right, now we're gonna check the oil and see where we're at. good six quarts clean up any oil I may have dripped that's just extra lubrication not a big deal that's what we're gonna do is reset the oil life on the computer we're gonna reset the oil life here Now the oil life is reset. All right, we gotta start it up. Checking for leaks. Don't see any. All right, let's tally this up and see where we're at. So I got about $40 in oil. I bought a $30 drain pan, that's $70. Another $14 tool to take the oil filter off. I'm explaining that in a second. So all in all, plus the oil filter, all in all, I saved myself about 60 to 70 bucks just by doing it myself. Not to mention the two pro tips I had in there about the drain pans and the tools. That, is, that stuff is priceless. You, you put that in your pocket and don't let that go. Back to the tool to take the oil filter off. When I was a kid, my dad always changed his own oil. And they didn't have tools like that back then. So we'd take a screwdriver and a hammer, punch the screwdriver through the oil filter and twist it off. Thought about doing that to save $14, but then for $14, probably would have been more of a headache than what it was worth. So I decided to go the tool route. And guys, if you like these videos, please leave me a comment down below. I can do plenty more of these. I got to uh, change oil in Jen's Durango right soon too, so I can show you how to do that. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. You got something out of that. Change your own oil, save a few bucks. In this day and age, 
a few dollars matters. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later. See, that would have been number three. Don't go there, people.